Hello friends. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can use MailWidge. I already have demonstrated the steps for the installation of MailWidge on VPS or cloud in my last lecture. And in continuation to that lecture in this, I am going to show you how you can use MailWidge for the first time. And that will include adding delivery servers, adding bound servers, creating campaigns, uploading your list and finally sending out campaigns. So let's get started. Now coming to my computer screen. Here you can see admin dashboard of MailWidge or you can say backend dashboard. MailWidge automatically creates one customer end and another admin end. So if you had paid attention in my last video at the last uh, when I was uh, installing MailWidge, MailWidge uh, asked me whether I want to create customer account or not. So I answered yes there and uh, my customer account was created as well. So here you can see I have one customers. So if you want to add more customers, you can do that very easily. You can go to customers and then click on customers and here you can see there is one customers that I created at the time of installation and another you can simply click on create new, fill the details and customer account will be created in no time. Alright, so after uh, you have this uh, admin end and customer end obviously. If you want to access customer end, you have to go to this URL, which is the main URL where you installed MailWitch and then simply click on login and you will able to see customer here at the end of the URL. For accessing backend or admin end, you have to go to backend and there you have like put your domain name and trailing uh, you have to put backend and you will able to sign into your backend MailWidge. Alright, so the next step after you have installed MailWidge will be to add delivery servers and bound servers so that you will able to send emails. Alright, so go to servers and then here you will see bound servers and delivery servers. Now if I click on delivery servers, you will see nothing here and I have to create new server. Now here uh, uh, MailWidge provides a bunch of options. So if you select MailGun Web API, SendGrid Web API, then in most cases in those API you don't have to uh, use uh, separate bound servers because that will be managed by those service providers. But if you have your own SMTP or uh, self-hosted SMTP server, then you have to basically configure bound servers as well. So in this, uh, I am going to first use Postal Web API and then I'll be using Cyber Panel uh, SMTP details. There I'll add bound server as well. So here again, if you scroll down, you will see a couple more options, but uh, Postal Wave API is right here. Here you have to just click on it and it is going to ask you a couple of questions, but you will not see any option to add bound server because as I said, that Web API provider will manage your bounces. So I already have this uh, postal installed and ready on another domain. So you can install postal on your uh, domain that runs MailWidge as well. But in my case, it's on different domain. So what I have to do is to grab the API address and then fill those uh, blanks here and I'll able to send emails. Now here I'll answer postal so that uh, later on I'll identify that this is the postal installation and next uh, here host scheme you can uh, select HTTP or HTTPS 
So here you can also see if you are accessing your postal dashboard using HTTPS then select HTTPS. So let's go back to the postal and you can see I am using HTTPS. Therefore I will select HTTPS here then it is asking for host name. So this is the host name. I am going to copy and paste it and then it is asking for API key. So when you go to postal and then go to credentials and here you can basically I had this one credentials from past but you can always add another credential click on add credential then it is going to ask you API whether you want to use SMTP API or SMTP IP. So here my need is API I am going to select API and then I'll have to name it. So I'll say mailwitch. And uh, now you can see this box is not highlighted, but it says automatically generated. So it will automatically generate. And uh, next uh, there is hold option where it says uh, whether you want to process all the messages or hold messages from this credential. Like let's say when you have customer who is not paying, and still using services so you can simply put hold on their credential until they clear your dues all right so uh, here uh, since uh, i am the customer and i am the owner so i am going to use process all messages and then click on create credential now you can see this one is the mailwitch api so i'll click here and i am going to copy the api key paste right here and then it is going to ask uh, from email here you can basically put anything at the rate yourdomain.com so I can put uh, like support at the rate uh, and the domain name is this SWHSB so I am going to put it here and then then there are a uh, uh, couple of other options which are optional so if you like you can fill it or you can simply leave those blank and that will not cause any problem let's say you want to receive a reply to some particular email address you can put it here or you can simply leave this blank and put the reply email address when you actually create campaign so now i'll click on save changes now mailwitch, uh, mailwitch will ask you to validate uh, the server that you can do so easily by putting your email address here so i am going to put my email address and i'll click on validate server now this uh, will send one email to my gmail so i am going to check my gmail now Alright, so now you can see here I have uh, received this email which says please validate this server from Mailwitch and uh, if I click on this link uh, you will see this delivery server status which is currently in active turning into active. So now you can see the status has turned into active. So now you have a delivery server configured you can go to your customer account and there you will able to upload your subscribers list and create your campaigns and ultimately send it out so let's do that so first of all you have to log into your mailwitch uh, in the customer dashboard obviously so i'll click login all right so now you can see i am logged into customer end and there are another way to log into your customer end from admin dashboard as well for example you can go to customers and then here you have to click on login as this customer once you click you will able to login as customer from admin dashboard directly and another way is to use the username and password to log into your customer account all right here you have to first of all you have to create a list so click on lists and then create new 
then you have to name the list so this is my first list i'll say list one and then i'll put some description here for letter identification so let's say i'll say this uh, my personal list or you can also name it as test list for uh, testing purpose if you are doing and then uh, this will ask you uh, the name from you want to send so i leave the name at is then from email address now in next uh, from email address you have to basically change it to match the email address or domain name that you have configured with your delivery server so basically i have used their support at the rate swhsb.com and then in reply to address you can put anything of your choice obviously and uh, if you further scroll down then it will ask your company details that you have to fill in and these addresses will go along with your uh, newsletter if you want to disable it you can do so in your uh, admin dashboard but uh, let me show everything that comes default with mailwiz so here i am going to put the company name so i'll see abc limited and then i'll have to select country and then i'll have to put address so i'll put the address then it is asking for city then zip code all right after that click on save changes and back to list all right so now list is ready but there is no subscriber in it you can see subscribers count zero out of zero so what you have to do is to click on list one then click on subscribers and then click on create new so here you have to type uh, the email address of your subscriber and this is the manual work so obviously uh, here you have to basically make sure you have selected the confirmed option otherwise email won't to go to this email address after that save changes and if you want to create new you can always save changes and create new all right so this is the one way to add subscribers to your mail list now another way would be to go to lists once again and then here you have to go to tools here you will see option import export and copy so here uh, obviously you want to import uh, your subscribers so let's say you have thousands of subscribers then obviously you want to import and mail is basically gives you two way to import your subscribers one is csv and another one is through sql database so i am going to use csv now uh, you might know the csv format so you can simply click here and it will download the csv all right now you can see this is the sample csv where you have to enter the email address in the email column and then the first name last name and age so i am going to delete the age column and then i'll put my email addresses all right and then i'll put the name okay let me enlarge it and then i'll put my another email address similarly you can uh, import big list or you can create your list so i am just going to import two email addresses right now and i'll uh, save it all right so next uh, i'll uh, click on browse here and then i'll uh, select the list so this is the list and i'm going to click upload now you will see the live progress now since i have only two subscribers in the list so i got uh, uh, this uh, message and it says 100 percent completed and it was without any error so if there were any error in uh, 
your email for example any typo error then that will be not imported by mailwiz however it will be your responsibility to make sure the list you are importing are valid and clean and free from errors all right so click on back to import options i'll go to lists once again and now here you can see i have three out of three subscribers two i imported and one i added manually so after that uh, uh, when your list is ready you can further move to campaigns and then you have couple of options here and uh, some of options are like auto responders as well so you can configure that uh, but uh, right now i am going to go to regular campaigns then i'll click create new and i'll have to name i'll have to give it some name so i'll uh, say c1 campaign one and then here you have option to choose the list on which you want to send emails so i'll select list one and then to further organize your uh, list you can further uh, uh, select group create group segment and everything here uh, will help you basically organize your uh, campaign list uh, customers clients everything after that click on save and next and now it will uh, show you the options uh, that it pulled from your list which says the from name from email and reply to address and also it is going to ask the subject so i'll say this is this is test email so this is the my subject you have to put basically your real and um, attractive subject uh, then only the recipients will open and uh, respond to your emails all right after that uh, here you have couple of options whether you want to uh, track opening url tracking and uh, everything like a plain text email whether you want to have uh, only html or you, you want to have alternative uh, which includes plain text as well so after that click on save and next and uh, here uh, basically you can uh, put your html code if you have just simply click on source here and uh, here you can paste your html code if you don't have you can simply start typing your email or you can use template builder so like here uh, you can uh, drag header drag footer and then the drag text so here you can like uh, type anything i'll say this is test email and also you can name this template if you want to use uh, letter in future and uh, here you have uh, options like only plain text or html code as well so if you select no then html and plain text both will go and auto plain text means uh, it will automatically extract plain text from this uh, um, template and if i click on save and next uh, then it will continue but if you type anything and you don't include these two tags which says company which says company full address and list and unsubscribe url so let me see yeah this one is the unsubscribe url so basically these are the two tags you have to put in and that would be must you can click on here available tags you can see here which says company full address and that is required yes and then if you further scroll down then there has to be one unsubscribe url all right unsubscribe url and it is mandatory it is required and therefore you have to include it with your newsletter otherwise mail will show error so there are other tags as well that you can include like there were lots of tags first name last name list name list subject list description like uh, you have lots of uh, 
flexibility here that you can put in your uh, newsletter to make it better and better let me close it and after that i'll click save and next and then it will finally show you the summary then you have to uh, in order to send you have to click on save changes and send campaign and it will send it will start sending this particular campaign immediately so if i refresh this page it says processing and now if i again refresh this page it will say okay now this one this one okay now it says sent so uh, in a couple of minutes uh, it will show how many it has basically sent how many delivered and how many of them were opened by the um, opened by the recipients click sponsors and everything uh, will show up here so let me refresh this page once again and right now it is uh, showing zero zero if i go to like here in postal if i go to messages then you can see uh, right now it has this is the okay this is the test email you can see it has sent to three email addresses and mail which will soon show up here okay now you can see it is showing like three sent and three delivered all right so if i go to my gmail or yahoo mail wherever i sent those emails if i open them so okay it went to spam no issue at all because this is the new server so sometimes it goes to spam and uh, here you can see like uh, uh, all i have to do is to move it out from spam and okay promotion all right so now here you can see this is the header this is the um, content this is the footer which says uh, copyright everything our mailing address and if you want to unsubscribe you can simply click on this and it will take you to the unsubscribe page where you put the unsubscribe region or don't if you click on unsubscribe then it will unsubscribe you so let me show you if i click on unsubscribe here what happens at the uh, what happens to the list in the mail -wise. so if i click unsubscribe it says you were successfully removed from list one and if i go to lists so here you can see the subscriber count has been decreased from three to two so only two subscribers are active out of three subscribers if you further open it then you can go and here you can see uh, there is two subscribers who are actually confirmed and the third one which i just unsubscribed so you can see the status has automatically changed to unsubscribed so let me come back here and let me refresh this page so this uh, uh, opening has not been updated it uh, takes some times to update so no worries about that it will uh, automatically update after some time anyway so this is how you create a campaign so let me create once again to make it clear for you and this time i am going to name it c2 i'll choose the list one save and next and then here also you can enter pre header you can also forward friend subject and there were couple more options here you can like uh, have uh, action based campaign like uh, last time those who have actually opened your uh, newsletter or your email you can mail to them and if uh, let's say somebody didn't open the email last time so i am going to send a better offer this time that you can do so here all right then there are a couple more options that i leave to you for exploration then i'll click save and next okay uh, the subject so this is test email and then 
here uh, this time I am not going to use this template so I'll simply turn it off and then I am going to send this this is testing testing and if I simply click on save and next then you will see this error like uh, I said you have to include two tags and you can see this is the required tags that you must include in your newsletter or you can simply turn it off from uh, mailwiz backend otherwise you have to include it at any cost otherwise your emails won't go out so i'll put those and if i now click on save and next save and send campaign then campaign will start sending so this is how you create uh, campaigns in mailwiz and send it out all right so now coming back to mailwiz backend like i said uh, we had this web api and we used it for sending email now web api is taking care of bounces but let's say you have your own self-hosted server then you have to include bounce server as well so here you have to go to bounce servers and then click on create new and here you have to enter the name host name username password so let me show you if you go to cyber panel then now since i actually haven't configured any email here so okay uh, so let's say like you want to create uh, one email address for uh, bounce specifically and i'll put the password after that uh, create email so now i have this particular email ready for collecting bounces i'll simply copy this and then i'll uh, username all right and this is the host name here you can uh, name it bounce or anything you like and then i'll put the password and now it is going to ask whether it is IMAP or POP3 service and it is also going to ask port, protocol. You have to set these options uh, as per server recommendation. Uh, so here I am going to click save changes because uh, I know that um, this will work, this option will work and uh, you saw that uh, this uh, uh, becomes green. So now it is uh, ready to collect bounces. So if I go to delivery servers and if I click on create new server and this time I am going to select SMTP and now here you can see the option bounce server. So I'll choose the bounce here. Uh, that was the name of the bounce server I just put in. So I'll select that and next it will ask you the host name, username, password so basically here you have to fill out your SMTP details and then you can use this uh, uh, delivery server for sending out emails. So I hope uh, that uh, you have this uh, thing clear for the first time how you can use it. So let me know if you have any questions regarding this uh, um, working of MailWiz. I'll happy to help. So see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching.